Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to ask you something. Have you ever uh, needed an extension cord uh, that's only a few feet long? Or have you ever had an extension cord where it accidentally got chopped in half or something like that and you were just about to throw it away? I mean, can you still use that extension cord? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to basically make your own extension cord. Okay, um, I've already made one that I want and I've made, it's basically a, a three foot extension cord. Um, and I have a use for this and that's why I actually did it. You would think that, boy, that's, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of is making a two or three foot long extension cord. But, if you have something like this that's like a kilowatt meter and you don't want to you don't want to cover up both of the plugs it's better just to have an extension cord that's only a foot or two or three long and then that way you don't need a, a 25 foot extension cord just to be able to plug in you know a, a bigger a bigger type of device so what I've done is I have, I have an extension cord here that um, I think it was a 25 foot, but uh, the plug part of it pretty much got broken off, you could say. So I went ahead and chopped it up and I just, I just chopped it up into like six foot sections and three foot sections. And so I'll be able to make my own extension cords. Um, and what I did was I got on Amazon and I bought a box of of five plugs and then five like receptacles. So you have each end of your extension cord right here. I'll go ahead and link these in the description so that way you can find them, you know, find them pretty easily. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to need a male part and a female part. Okay. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking these apart. Uh, on, this, on this brand, there are three screws that we're going to have to unscrew these and we're going to be able to take this out. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, I went ahead and unscrewed it and all we got to do is just take it out. And this is like a, a pretty much a, a cover that's going to be covering up all the, the bare wires and the bare metal. So on this part, this is very important. You need to first take this little, uh, this compression bracket off. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it, you're going to want to put it on the cord, just like that. Now, I don't really, I don't really need to right now because this is an open-ended wire. But I just wanted to, I just wanted to tell you that you need to put this on the cord and then you need to put this on the cord as well. And these ones, these, this part of the little rubber thing is real hard to get off. So I found the best way to do it is just to use some needle nose pliers and kind of just cram them in there and twist it and just kind of push it open a little bit. There, so the hole's much bigger. And now I can push this wire through. And there we go. And so I got the metal thing and this end cap, or the casing, I guess it could also be called, on the wire. So the next thing we need to do is we need to cut some sheathing off right here. Okay, and see, once you get it cut, you can basically just kind of peel it back. And then based on the type of plug that you have, you'll be able to determine how much of this you'll want to cut back and still have this outer sheathing outside of the plug. So make sure you don't cut too much because you don't want to you don't want to have any of the sheathing cut on this side of the plug, on the outside of the plug. Now let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and cut this out. All right. So you should be left with three wires. You should have a green wire, a black wire, and a white wire. Now the green wire is ground wire, and that is this part of the plug right here. The, 
the white wire is the neutral wire. The neutral wire is the bigger slot right here. Your hot wire is the black wire, and the hot wire is going to be the smaller slot. But you can tell on this side, on the screws, this screw is green, so this is the ground. This screw is silver, and so this is the neutral, which is the white. And then on this side, this screw is copper or gold, and that is the live. So that is how you want to wire it up. You do not want to change that configuration at all. You should never have your neutral on the gold, or you should never have your hot on the on the green it should always be black on gold white on silver and green on green so let's go ahead and wire this up okay and so wiring it up all I'm going to do is I'm going to take off some of the sheathing on here and I personally say between a quarter inch and three eighths of an inch is fine Okay, so now you should have this. And I like to go ahead and just twist these up because you do not want to have any strands of this wire outside of the little spots that you're going to put them. Outside of the little crimping zones, which are these right here. You don't want them on the outside because then that way, if you get a short in here, it can cause a lot of problems. So. Next, let's go ahead and unscrew all these. And this model is kind of nice because you unscrew it, but it won't let you unscrew it all the way without a lot of resistance. And I'm probably, I'm probably guessing they are all going to be like that. So just unscrew them until it gets, until it tries to stop. And they should be nice and open. So when you're wiring it, I personally don't believe it matters in what order you do your wiring. But you just I just want to reiterate that you need to make sure to put your wires in the right spots. So I like to start with ground first. And when you put it in there, you want to push it so there is only the, the, so the insulation is touching is touching right there. Cuz you don't you don't want to have any exposed wire. and then screw it down. All right, and now we're gonna do our neutral. All right, and then we're gonna put the black wire on the gold. And then with, with these, you, you wanna make sure and tighten them down so they are very snug. They shouldn't slide out at all. Okay. And that, I mean, that's wired up. That's ready to go. We have our black on gold. We have our white on silver. And we have our green on green. So all we have to do now is push this back up. And then line up the screws and screw it in. Okay, we got it all screwed in. It's all nice and snug. The last thing we want to do is put the uh, compression bracket on there. And I like to make it where the screw, the tops of the screws are pretty much on the top of the plug. So it should look like that where the, the plug is kind of, the ground is down here, the plugs are up, and the screws are going to be screwed in right here. For me, I'm going to go ahead and do this side over here. But what I'm going to end up with is something that looks just like this. And it, on this end, it's the exact same thing. You unscrew these three screws, you take this out, you put this cover on, and you, you, put the, you put the cover on the wire along with the, the bracket, so that way it's on the wire. And then you wire it all up, uh, you know, black on gold, white on silver, and green on green. And, and then you have your extension cord. So that was a very basic demonstration on how to make an extension cord with just new plugs and an existing wire. Now. I want to put out this disclaimer that I am not an electrician. Working with electricity is very dangerous. And if you feel very confident on what you're doing, I would say you can go ahead and do this. But if you don't feel comfortable with 
wiring up plugs or actually using uh, multimeters or something like that to know the voltage of plugs once they're actually live, I would say that you hire a professional electrician to do the work for you. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and you all have a great day. Bye-bye.